Can someone place cameras in my home or listening devices in my home without me knowing and use them in family court against me? One would need a lot more background information to answer such a question knowledgeably because one, there are so many factors that affect if and when placing cameras or listening devices, whether hidden or not hidden, in one's home or the home of someone else. And two, the laws governing this subject are different in different jurisdictions. Consult with a knowledgeable attorney, A, if you find cameras placed in your home by someone else, and B, if you are contemplating placing cameras or listening devices, whether hidden or not hidden, in your own home or the home or on the property of someone else. I practice divorce and family law in Utah, and so briefly, and you can verify this for yourself, I do not claim to be an infallible authority on the subject. But here are some Utah code sections, to say nothing of the federal laws that apply, about secret recordings and the use of electronic devices for such. I do not claim to be an exhaustive list maker here, but it's good information to know. Utah Code Section 77-23A-4, entitled Offenses, Criminal and Civil, Lawful Interception. At subsection 7 of this code section reads, A. A person acting under color of law may intercept a wire, electronic, or oral communication if that person is a party to the communication or one of the parties to the communication has given prior consent to the interception. B. A person not acting under color of law may intercept a wire, electronic, or oral communication if that person is a party to the communication or one of the parties to the communication has given prior consent to the interception unless the communication is intercepted for the purpose of committing any criminal or tortious act in violation of state or federal laws. Then there's section 77-23A-7 evidence exclusionary rule. It reads, when any wire, electronic, or oral communication has been intercepted, no part of the contents of the communication and no evidence derived from it may be received in evidence in any trial, hearing, or other proceeding in or before any court, grand jury, department, officer, agency, regulatory body, legislative committee, or other authority of the state, or a political subdivision of the state, if the disclosure of that information would be in violation of this chapter. Next, Utah Code Section 76-9402, entitled Privacy Violation. 1. A person is guilty of privacy violation if, except as authorized by law, the person A. trespasses on property with intent subject anyone to, sorry, to subject anyone to eavesdropping or other surveillance in a private place, B. installs or uses after unauthorized installation in a private place without the consent of the person or persons entitled to privacy in the private place, any device for observing, photographing, hearing, recording, amplifying, or broadcasting sounds or events in the private place, or C, installs or uses outside of a private place a device for observing, photographing, hearing, recording, amplifying, or broadcasting sounds or events originating in the private place, which would not ordinarily be audible, visible, or comprehensible outside the private place without the consent of the person or persons entitled to privacy in the private place. Two. A person is not guilty of a violation of this section if a. the device used is an unmanned aircraft, b. the person is operating the unmanned aircraft for legitimate commercial or educational purposes in a manner consistent with applicable Federal Aviation Administration rules, exemptions, or other authorizations, and c. Any conduct described in subsection 1 that occurs via the unmanned aircraft is solely incidental to the lawful commercial or educational use of the unmanned aircraft. 3. Privacy violation is a Class B misdemeanor. Then there's Section 76-9401 of, of the Utah Code, Definitions. For purposes of this part, one, private place means a place where one may reasonably expect to be safe from casual or hostile intrusion or surveillance. Two, eavesdrop means to overhear, record, amplify, or transmit any part of a wire or oral communication of others without the consent of at least one party thereto by means of any electronic, mechanical, or other device. Three, public includes any professional or social group of which the victim of a defamation is a member. Section 76-9403, Communication Abuse. That reads, 1. A person commits communication abuse if, except as authorized by law, he a. intercepts without the consent of the sender or receiver a message by telephone, telegraph, letter, or other means of communicating privately. This paragraph does not extend to, sub, 1. Overhearing of messages through a regularly installed instrument on a telephone party line or on an extension, or sub 2, interception by the telephone company or subscriber incident to enforcement of regulations limiting use of the facilities or to other normal operation and use, or b, 
divulges without consent of the sender or receiver the existence or contents of any such message if the actor knows that the message was illegally intercepted or if he learned of the message in the course of employment with an agency engaged in transmitting it. Two, communication abuse is a Class B misdemeanor.